service now to the Israelites, the nation of Israel. Time for you to wake up, to give some understanding. It's your brother Ananias. Give me another edition. Truth be told, talking about the eagle. The eagle is the oppressor. Whether you want to believe it or not, whether you will hear it or forbid. The eagle is the oppressor. Who is the eagle? Lord said he called heaven and earth to witness against us when he said life and death, blessing and cursing before us. To choose life, you and your offspring may live. That's in Deuteronomy chapter 19. That's Moses speaking to the children of Israel. He called heaven and earth to witness against them, to choose life, to live life. It was a choice, life and death. And it shall come to pass and thou shalt heart diligently to the voice of the Lord thy God to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day that the Lord will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. On high, rulership, blessings of our pleasure. Where you reign, you the king. You got dominion over everything. Man, you got control over everything. But it's the flip side of it. Say, but it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments. That I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Curses. Never known a curse to be a good thing. So there got to be something evil about it. Let's get into it. These curses are going to be upon the Israelites for a sign and a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Did that not happen to us? Were we not brought on those cargo slave ships, shackled from head to foot, sold, put on these plantations, male, women, children? Look at that. Baby ain't even five years old out there picking cotton. Said he sent a nation that didn't regard the young or the old. These curses only happen to our people, still happen to this day. Read that in the book of Daniel, chapter 9, 12 through 14. Getting your back speed in. That only happened to the Israelites. It don't happen to anybody else on this planet. Think about that. Even though they try to put it in the movies. It's something you don't see in the movie. And you should use our children with alligator bait. Ain't gonna never tell you that though. You got to dig for that info. They'll put this in your face in your history books. It's something that happened to the Israelites. And the whole reason why we're doing this video is to show you what? That it was done by the evil. Let me read it. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and pursue thee and overtake thee. Till thou be destroyed, because thou art not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. And they, meaning the curse, shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever, because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. He shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far from the end of the earth as swift as the eagle fly, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand, a nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the young or the old. I understand that might be in hard pill to swallow, but it's the truth. 
Let's get an example of what the Lord said about it, though. Just to furthermore prove to you the vision of Obadiah. Let's say the Lord, God, concerning Edom, that's the so-called white man. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, that's your cave, man, whose habitation is high, skyscrapers, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself with the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. Who consider themselves to be the eagle? Who tried to go to the star? Spatial. You know who it is. The eagle. Let's look and see what it say. The solar symbol can also be linked to sky gods, signify inspiration and release from bondage. Victory, longevity, speed, pride, father, and royalty, often used by powerful nations like the Romans, the French, Austrians, Germans, Americans. Think about that. They all use the ego as they send. The Lord said he won't send those who represent themselves as the ego. You got the Roman, they go they flag, they had an the ego, had us in captivity. The French had the ego. Had us in captivity. You see this symbol on below. That's the symbol you see in New Orleans for the Saints. Austrian flag, eagle, once again. All these different nations that we're going to look at have our people in captivity. And they all bear the symbol of the eagle, the German flag, the eagle. It's not a coincidence. The Lord always put these signs here for us to see. The Russian flag. Why all these nations, all the nations who are in power, got an eagle to represent them? Think about that. We just read the definition. Flag of Mexico. They being oppressed by the Spaniards. And just so happened, they got an eagle on them. Hmm. Even in the ancient days, the Persian Medes, we were under captivity under them as well. Hmm. Who else? The Egyptians. Wow. That's our very first captivity. What do they have on the back of the dollar? Egyptian pyramids. In America, Babylon, the Greek. They got the eagle everywhere. No surprise. They did the most damage. Let's check out some of it. They got the eagle on the back of the dollar that everybody be fighting and wasting their life away for. They put it right in your face. You don't even know what it's there for. The eagle. Look at everything they got surrounding. Showing you. Look at it. On the back of the quarter. Why everything got an eagle on it? Telling you. Letting you know who they are. Without telling you. It's on your post office. Inside of your uh, mail trucks. You're too blind to see. I always been uh, right in front of your face. Everything is biblical, spiritual. It's right there in front of your face. Who you pay your money to, who you get your money from, who you get your taxes from, who you pay your taxes to. Even the number one motorcycle brand, Eagle. We don't pay attention, though. Everything right in front of our face. Look at this. It's even a. Uh, America's team. We celebrate this thing. Don't even know it represents our captivity. But we grew up trying to look at this. They say they went to the moon, but they say the eagle has landed. Even in the military, every branch of the military is represented by an eagle. Every branch. Think about that. As for us, our eyes as yet filled with our main help in our watching. We have watched for a nation that could not save us. They hunt our stuff that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near, our days are fulfilled, for our end is to come. Our persecutors are swifter than eagles of the heaven. They pursued us upon the mountains, they laid wait for us in the wilderness. 
just like it is today. They ain't wait for us. They persecute. Look at this guy. Line up the vote for him. Another nation. To help her. Ain't did nothing but create more and more chaos. Locking our brothers up. Sending them to war. Blowing up buildings. Left and right. We bring the gay and transgen transgender movement. He don't know what he did. He just created chaos. And this guy, come on. He just got in there. But all of these have been right in front of your face the whole time. The Lord don't hide nothing. Give you content clues and tell you to figure it out. You've been hidden in plain sight. So Israel, we got to wake up and realize what's going on. Stop being blinded. Take the cobwebs off the line. Change the future.